Hey, good morning. It's, uh, what time is it here? I don't know. Six something? Six fifteen? Six twenty-ish? Uh, anyhow. Yeah, um, went on eBay. It's six twelve. Uh, I just, I got my news on over here. Um, with the volume down. Anyhow, I went on eBay after Nas, uh, showed those old Matchbox catalogs and you know, all the pictures of the available cars back in the, I think the earliest catalog was 72 or 73, and it just reminded me of this. So I went on eBay and bought one. Um, they're not exactly cheap. They're not super expensive. Um, they had two versions. They had the plain wheel version um, that had those, you know, rubberish wheels with the you know, the little dots with the pin hubcaps, and then they had the super fast version, which I had as a kid. They also had the steer version. Um, that's why it has these weird little chassis things. I think the one version, like if you tilted it, it would kind of steer as you were pushing it. It had like a little thing, almost like a skateboard type of steering system. Um, anyhow, um, yeah, it's kind of an odd truck. It's a Ford. It's sort of like a 67 through 69-ish grill there, though there is no year stated on it. Just Ford pickup, number three. Well, I guess that's a number three, but I think it's actually number six in their series on the box and everything. But anyhow, the cap, which probably wouldn't fly today, is removable. So a lot of them online are missing this cap. There's a guy making 3D printed ones to replace it uh, later it's an odd truck in the fact that it's got step side fenders step side bed but it's kind of wide for a step side <laughs> you see I mean it should be narrower bed maybe they didn't have the technology to make it then I don't know but I had this as a kid it was one of my favorite ones I also had the later version I believe it was all fleet side and uh it had the rotating bed. It had the little turntable in it. And they had different zoo animals. And it had a clear cap on it. And um, I think mine had a pacing lion. And as it rolled, the lion paced in a circle. Um, that was one of my other favorite ones as a kid. Um, the super fast were always nice. They had the suspension. They always roll nice. This one does have a chip in the roof. But what makes me, you know, really fond of this truck um, was back when I was a kid, I had, I mean, I had a giant shoebox full of Matchbox and Hunt Wheels, and they were all chipped and scratched because I played with them, and I didn't have the tracks too often. And uh, so, you know, they got rolled down the driveway because we had a little hill on our back where it went down to the garage, and so I used to roll them down there. Of course, they'd hit a stone and flip and slide on the roof and scratch them all up. So a lot of them look this way. And, um, yeah, I remember being, uh, starting going, like I told you in that one video where I had the Firebird and all them. Uh, I remember coming home from school, because I was in junior high then, just getting out of these, basically getting them to the model building. But I still had a few, and I had a bunch stored. I come home from school one day, and... They're all gone. My mom gave them away to somebody's kid, you know, so I kind of was bummed by that. I mean, I probably would have done the same eventually, but now looking back, I'm like, damn it, I want some of those back. <laughs> so, but I got this one, and the most memorable thing, I, I'm i probably going to get a few, couple more of these, maybe get one in nicer shape, and, um, you know, maybe even one in slightly rougher shape. Reason being is, as a kid, I was out in my backyard and uh, I was out by the swing set, and I had a, it was sitting on the ground in the grass, and I had my little red wagon, and I used my red wagon to uh, get up on the swing set up on the crossbar. So I climbed off the wagon, and I pushed off, and when I pushed off, the wagon actually flipped over, and the rolled edge of the wagon, I don't think the cap was on mine at the time, the rolled edge of the wagon came down and landed just like this on it and when it did it dented the roof big time it looked like the truck was in a rollover 
and uh, I just I was so cool, happy with it actually cuz you know it looks so realistic actually and um yeah so I always you know played with it after that cuz it was always you know the truck that got in the wreck and stuff you know, it was just kind of neat so yep so I got another one and I'm um, probably going to look for a few more some are, you know are mintier some are worse and, uh, you know, I've seen them in all kinds of conditions and all kinds of prices. But this is one of the ones I had, and I just have to have it. So, I got one. And then, uh, yeah, I'm doing more customs here. And I got this tuned custom. Let's get some light on it. Come on. Yeah, I got this tuned custom. S10. It's really subtle in this lighting, but it's more of an orange and goes to a brighter yellow and uh, oh I got a bunch here I got a 55 Chevy it goes from a it's like pure red orange yellowish to white and uh, got this little the little pro stock S, uh, S10 the Chevette uh, it was black with some kind of graphics. I'm probably going to change the wheels. Um, I'm probably still going to use Hot Wheels wheels, but I don't like the bronze, copper, you know. doesn't go with these colors. But i got to do the taillights and put some decals on it. Give it that pro stock look. But yeah, that's another auction car. And then I got some uh, two-tone on the... Uh, 55. Gotta do a little touch up there. I gotta like flow some weight on there. And there the masking didn't take quite as well. Oh, hair. Get off their hair. But yeah. But that's gonna get a. Uh, hold on a second here. Yeah, that's gonna get a. Uh, you know, bare metaled and for the trim and all that. And do the tail lights up and the headlights and that'll get assembled. So that's one. Oh, there's several others here. Uh, some I don't want to give away until they're until they're done. Did the gas revet. Um, it's going to get some secondary color. Um, get that interior painted. You know, I'll mask it off, shoot some primer, and then shoot some color over the interior. Um, you could strip chrome too on these. Um, put it in some easy off oven cleaner, but you know, the chrome was also the engine and the grill, which I could re-chrome with some spray chrome or paint it a different color anyhow. But this I'll probably, you know, just redo the interior because I don't like chrome interiors. But, uh, yeah, I'm messing with that one. Um, I got a lot here. I don't think they're all going to get done for this upcoming auction or auctions. I'm going to try to get as many done. I got quite a few done. In fact, here... Here's the Hero Hat of Merc. Um, it's a great car, but it is in the slightly wrong colors. And until I get the right colors, I'm going to redo it. But this is uh, black and this uh, gold. And I bare metal the trim. The Buick side trim it has. I bare metal the window trim. Front, rear, and uh, sides. Got the taillights painted. Um, I gotta screw it together. I think I'm gonna try to find some... I like the wide whites, but I don't like that they did the rim in wide white. So I'm gonna see if I have any others in my collection. Um, and replace those. Or I may just take my chrome paint marker and do the rims and, uh, leave the tires wide white. You barely see the rear one, but I gotta polish it a little bit better. And being black, it shows every fingerprint and everything. But yeah, I did the uh, grill and the headlights and all that, and did the chassis up. So, yeah, for the most part, it's done. Like I said, I may redo those wheels, unscrew it, take it back off there real quick. But I think that looks really cool. That came out nice. So, that's going to be going for auction soon. And, 
and uh, you know the tail dragger that one polished out really nice you know just there's that one and oh well, there's a couple others here is the Porsche like I said some of these didn't get wheel swapped this is what you know but got the tail lights and they're really hard to see because they're slim but you know tail lights and markers and headlights and all that stuff chassis just some basic detailing interior has been painted so yeah it looks like a in fact here before we go it's a parking lot i think there's like oh i don't know 16 done out of all of those any of the ones facing me with the headlights facing this way are the done ones and the other ones facing their taillights at me are the undone ones so yeah they're going to get done up the next few days and like i said i'm going to back off the uh die cast and get back in the plastic my decals are coming they're on their way they should be here tomorrow according to tracking so i'm going to get back to my one group build and uh some other stuff i have going i want painted this one yesterday this silverado it's like a dark metallic black and uh this aqua i gotta paint this you know that part of the interior come on focus you know, I'll mask it off, prime it, and paint that aqua too. But it's actually kind of got a kind of a cool illusion, depending on how you look at it and the light hits it. It almost looks like it's floating there, like that's the bottom of the body, you know. But the black kind of hides it. It just. But yeah, I think it's a nice, and cool look. So that one, and I got the little tuned Camaro that's still got to be bare metal and the taillights done on it and I brought broke out my Merc um, I gotta do some sanding on these skirts the glue didn't really take well the first time even though it was bare plastic to bare plastic so I flowed some crazy glue in there last night with the accelerator and I gotta take some sandpaper and sanding sticks and you know sand all that smoother but this is one of the group build cars for uh kim's custom garage the 49 merc and i think it's due october 28th or something like that so i figure i better get moving on this group build um some of the other ones are due much later like the end of december or even further so yeah, I am better get moving on this one. I got to get everything smooth so I can get the paint on it. And uh, like I said, I'm not going crazy on this one extra detail. Um, it's already a custom, so what else, you know, I mean, I do something slightly different lenses on the taillight because they give you two different options. Um, I'm probably going to go with the recessed bullets, but something longer than what they give you with it out of my parts box and then um the engine i i got a a bat wing you know one of those cadillac air cleaners let me put that on there and it's mostly just going to be paint work um the scariest thing is going to be um i got the mask kit for the flames and uh i never used one of those yet so that's going to be the scariest thing you know laying down a nice color coat make sure it's good I'll then lay down the mask and make sure and hope it works well. Because if it, you know, screws up big time, then I'd have to start over. Or, man, I probably wouldn't have time. So, yeah, I got to get to that. But it's still super hot and muggy. It's not going to be ideal painting anyhow. So, I'll just be doing the body work on that. But, yeah, that's it. Just wanted to show off that and my little piece of childhood history brought back to life yeah it's i remember playing with that 
I wish it was mine. You know, mine probably got thrown away somewhere. You know, some the kid that got that thing probably. I don't want this dented truck. It it's probably the trash. Excuse <sighs> me. <laughs> but oh boy, that would be that would be funny if I ever found that somehow. So anyhow, hey, it's been 15 minutes of your time and my time. Um, it's still early here. I'm gonna go to work today and suffer one more day. Oh, look at this, red and white. See, look at all this red and white. It's a whole bevy of red and white. But, uh, yeah. Got a little work today. It's supposed to be like the hottest day. And, uh, like, yuck. So, hopefully we're not super busy with nasty stuff. So, hey, thanks for watching. I'm gonna get my butt moving. Do a couple things here at the house and, uh, before I leave for work and then go to work. So everybody have a great day. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.